Imagine looking at a page in a book for just a few seconds and then remembering every single word on it forever. Sounds like a superpower, right? Well, some people claim to have this ability. It's called photographic memory. But is it real? And if so, why don't we all have it? In this video, we're diving deep into the mystery of photographic memory. We'll explore how memory works, whether true photographic memory exists, and why some people seem to remember things with incredible detail while others forget where they put their keys five minutes ago. By the end, you might even learn how to improve your own memory. How does memory work? Let's pretend your brain is like a big, messy toy box. Every time you learn something new, like the name of a new friend or what you had for lunch, you're putting that memory into the toy box. But here, the problem. Over time, some toys or memories get buried under everything else and you forget where they are. Your brain stores memories in different ways. Short-term memory, like a whiteboard where you write something down but erase it quickly. This holds information for just a few seconds or minutes. Long-term memory, this is like putting a toy in a special spot so you can find it later. These memories can last for years. Visual memory, your ability to remember things you've seen, like faces, places, or pictures. Some people are much better at this than others. What is photographic memory? Now, imagine if you never forgot where anything was in your toy box, ever. That's what people believe photographic memory is. The ability to look at something once and remember it forever, exactly as it was. Some say they can recall entire books, detailed pictures, or long lists of numbers just by glancing at them. Sounds amazing, right? But here's the twist. Scientists don't think true photographic memory actually exists. There's no solid proof that anyone can store perfect, instant images in their mind like a camera taking a picture. So what about people with super memory? Even though perfect photographic memory may not be real, some people do have something very close to it. Here are a few mind-blowing memory abilities that actually exist. Eidetic memory, this is the closest thing to a real photographic memory. Some children can look at a picture for a few seconds and remember it in extreme detail for a short time, like keeping an image frozen in their mind. But this ability usually fades as they grow up. Hyperthymesia. Some rare people can remember almost every single day of their life in detail. If you ask them what they had for lunch on a random Tuesday five years ago, they can tell you instantly. Their brains seem to organize memories in a way that lets them recall even tiny details. Memory athletes. Some people train their brains to remember huge amounts of information using clever tricks, like associating numbers with stories or placing memories inside an imaginary house in their mind. These people can memorize entire decks of cards, long lists of words, or hundreds of numbers in minutes. Can you train your brain to have a super memory? Even though most of us won't develop a photographic memory, you can improve your memory using a few fun tricks. The Memory Palace Trick. Imagine placing things you need to remember inside a familiar place, like your house. If you need to remember a shopping list, picture a giant banana on your couch, a milk carton on your TV, and a loaf of bread on your bed. When you walk through your house in your mind, you'll remember everything. Chunking, instead of trying to remember long strings of numbers, break them into smaller parts. That's why phone numbers are split into chunks. Stories and associations. Your brain loves stories. If you need to remember a name, connect it to something funny or familiar. If you meet a guy named Charlie, picture him eating chocolate like Charlie from Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Final thought, what does this mean? So do some people have photographic memory? Probably not in the way we imagine, but some people do have extraordinary memory skills, either naturally or through training. The good news, you can train your brain to get better at remembering things too. The next time you forget where you put your socks, just remember, your brain is powerful and with practice, you can make it even stronger.